Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to this live stream, which is very, very special because we have the one and only Divya Deshmukh who's going to join us. She has recently performed amazingly well at the national championship that was held in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. That's the picture in front of you. Divya winning the first place with five and a half lakh rupees. She became the national champion uh, at the age of just 16 years old. That's the trophy that you can see. And the top three spots went to Divya, Sakshi and Priyanka Nutaki. And uh, we are going to have Divya here. Uh, first of all, look at her performance. She was unbeaten. She had two draws, one right at the top, one right at the bottom. And then seven wins in the middle, beating players like Nisha Mohota, Priyanka Nutaki, Sakshi Chitlange, Bhakti Kulkarni, Vaishali. I mean, that's as dominating a performance that you can get. Also, what we will be doing today is taking some of the viewer questions. I have prepared so many here and, you know, Divya is always amazing with her answers. So <clears throat> we'll have a lot of fun asking her some of the questions while we are talking we also have the national champion for open arjun erigesi who has won the tournament but we'll talk about that later for now join me in inviting the one and only divya deshmukh also known as the ceo hello divya how are you hello i'm fine how are you congratulations divya Divya, what a brilliant performance by you. Uh, are you back home? Where are you right now? Oh, I'm back home. I just reached a couple of hours ago. You reached a couple of hours ago? Uh, could, you, could you keep your mic closer? Uh, we can't hear you so much. Uh -huh. Is it fine now? Yes. Um, so, Divya, uh, has the feeling like sunk in because I saw a bit of your interviews. We also published one or two. You were like, I'm a bit surprised at the same time. I'm very happy, you know. Uh, so how's the feeling like? Um, right now, I am still in shock. I've not thought about it yet. Right now, I'm just a little bit under the weather. So I'm focusing on my health. Ah, your health is not good. Yeah, it's a okay. little bit down. But why, why would you be shocked or surprised? Because, you know, you are one of the strongest players. Uh, okay, I mean, there were players who are stronger than you, but you have been there. You've beaten strong opponents. Yes. Uh, it's probably because I've not played much OTB in these last few years. So I wasn't sure if I would still be comfortable in the OTB format or if how much time it will take me to get used to it. Mm. That was clearly seen in the first round where you drew your game that you were not uh, very much in the flow. But you know, Divya, before, uh, shall we look at some chess before yes. we go to some Q&A? And there are a lot of things that we want to do with you. So, I want to start off with my favorite move uh, that you played in this tournament. It was against Vaishali. And uh, I, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It was not against Vaishali. How did I make it? It was against Bhakti that you played this move. So let me pull up. Okay, I got the move. <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's ask the chat if they can find the move here. It is black to play. What would you play here? And then uh, Divya will tell whether that move is right or not. One second, I'll have to open chat. Divya, hmm? would this be like one of your favorite moves in this tournament? Yeah. Or was there anything better than this? Um, there was, hmm. but I would say this is like uh, in the top three. Okay. So you can tell me what were the other two, yeah? After after this, I have to think of it. <laughs> By the way, in the chat, everyone's got it right. Um, 
आदित्य मित्तल त्रिपथ पाल मीरा त्रिपाठी प्रहलाद सेन चेस किंग शिवम फन लाइफ स्पोर्ट्स विद तनिश सानवी शान वेल डन एक्सलेंट द मूव इज डी फोर एंड इट्स अ पॉन सैक्रिफाइस दिव्या कुड यू टेल अस लाइक योर थॉट बिहाइंड इट ओके सो इट वाज अ टेंस पोजीशन आई थिंक वी वर बोथ डाउन ऑन टाइम कंसीडरिंग टू द अदर बोथ्स एंड आई जस्ट बेसिकली पुश डी फोर बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द Bishop on C six looks very passive, and I thought that maybe something could happen with F four, F five, F three, and uh, Queen G five, and ideas like Queen E five, and uh, just to be on the. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Okay. Um, just to be on the safe side, I calculated what if Queen G five and and the what if the attack on King side doesn't work. so i had to be on the safe zone because i couldn't afford losing so i i was pretty sure i'll get the pawn back that's probably why i went for it aha uh-huh. so d4 and when she took you now took back and then pawn takes and now you went here with a very nice uh, attack and uh, it was i think she had to go queen f1 to defend mm. this but she went g3 and you know uh, divya this game was very important because bhakti has been winning nationals like two times she in 2018 2019 and if she would have won this game then she would have great chances of winning the third title as well uh, and you were able to really uh, play some tremendous moves uh, here why didn't you go f4 directly yeah i i know i messed up i was uh... I was a little bit confused between queen at six and f four because eventually I wanted to go f four, but I missed the b four idea. Yeah, that was such I a crazy I idea. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, you start with knight c three perhaps, and then uh, you are able to get this b four thing working. Yes. Uh, I actually, I don't remember what I was thinking at this point. Hmm. I mean, not but, not here. Actually, the thing yeah. is, after queen at six, if knight c three, and this works, but f four you can't B5. play knight. I saw rook d eight. I missed b four. Ah, so you mean queen at six, knight c. Yeah, I C3, saw knight c three, obviously. F four. No, I I was going to take her. Yes. Ah, sorry. Queen h three, d five, rook d eight, yeah. and b four. Ah, so that when he takes here, when she takes here, you have. Bishop b3 pinning. Nice. So that was uh, what you missed, and that's why. But also Bhakti missed it, and so Bhakti played King h2, and then you managed to. Just... Knight c3 is a tough move to play, considering that the pawn is just going and everything. Absolutely, absolutely. It's not at all easy. And King h2, f4, g4. I think she probably underestimated that my attack would come so much. I had already seen the ideas of ninety five, ninety three, but I, I, I saw some variation in which it wasn't working. So, uh, I was thinking of going rook eight, like I, like you said in the video, but I saw something there. I was hoping that you would have not seen the video, and I can right now ask <laughs> you, and you know what is the move here because it's such a no, beautiful actually, move. No, actually, I saw, I saw. Rook to key to key the idea in the game but i saw some refutation i don't remember what i saw that what a move that would have been yeah like to play but <clears throat> i wanted to play that uh, <laughs> i wanted to go with the knight to e3 but she didn't go for bishop uh-huh. so you you were saying that if when you played knight d5 she went yeah i wanted to go with the knight take the knight to e3 like if she went what bishop e4 yeah i was thinking knight e3 ah uh-huh. <clears throat> But here I was uh, unsure about. I think d five. It was getting a little complicated, so I thought that uh, after h six, what mm-hmm. did I play? Here after d five, knight g four is not hanging. King g two. I saw that after king g two, it was like getting a little complicated. Obviously, black is winning. But I, I think f three should should do the trick. No, here something like that. Uh, But. Yeah, so. 
I mean, the main thing is that you got such good pieces here that mm. she couldn't uh, develop easily. And then you you won this game. Yeah. What what would you call your favorite game of this event? Favorite. Yes. Okay. Uh... I like most of my games. Wow. I, uh, I don't know. Ayushman Panda says, "Please say this. Please say this to Divya that I was waiting for her at the venue at Kit University, but unfortunately we couldn't meet." Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Sure, Ayushman, and I think a lot of people might have met you there. Yeah, uh, would have come no, to see. No, actually, my games lasted till almost all of them lasted three, four hours. Hmm. So I came out in the very last, and uh, I don't think people met me. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you don't you don't know which was your favorite game, uh, but I'll I'll tell you what I really liked one more uh, game of yours, which was. against vaishali which was uh very nice have you played with vaishali before um i don't think we've played uh, in otp chess we played online acha and what had happened there we played a lot of times so i don't remember so when you were playing this game it was the penultimate round you had a one point lead in the tournament and you were playing against the top seed and clearly vaishali would be you know angling for victory because then the tournament would be thrown open so how did you approach this game uh okay this game was the hardest for me to prepare for hmm. because uh, i i am a sicilian player so uh, if i i had a one point lead and sicilian obviously leads to decisive positions so i really wanted to avoid that but uh, i was a little short of options So then, uh, out of nowhere, Arjun texts me and says, "What if you play Petrov?" So I was like, "Don't be silly. I've never played it. I have no experience there. Ah. Everything." Then it was, I think it was around eleven o'clock, and at I night. still not yeah at night. Hmm. I had still not decided what to play, okay. and I was getting very tensed because I had an important match and I had not prepared everything, and I had to sleep also and get dressed because double rounds. Yeah. So then I I was like okay let's just get it done with let's play Petrov जो होगा देखा जाएगा really so, yeah I was how preparing. can you how can you have that attitude yeah like it's the most important game of the tournament जो होगा वो देखा जाएगा what an amazing attitude I had no choice but because uh, I was I just had to basically rely on my preparation because बाकी का कुछ मेरे को खेलना था नहीं And uh, but I, why not I Sicilian? Preparing. Why not back? Because it leads to the scissor positions. No, so I, I can lose. I can draw. It can go any way. Right. And I needed a stable opening, so, mm. so I went for this. And I was and preparing till two a.m. that day. Really? And your yeah. coach uh, didn't uh, was not very helpful, right? Uh, on that no. day, because <laughs> as we see. <laughs> He said, "Go, girl." I thought he said, "Go, go away, girl," or something like that. He meant that the away is silent. <laughs> so, so you, uh, how did you like? Did you ever prepare Petrov before, or it was the first time? First time. Really? And and so, yeah. did you check all the Nepo games from World Championship or something like that? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, there might be some. This is the first time I'm playing E5 in my life. first time e4 e5 mm. wow guys this is what you know uh, champions do sometimes they they back their instincts and i think that is what divya did very well and but you know the funny thing is after you play e5 if let's say vaishali saw that for the first time she would have thought some time uh, you know thought taken some time but she yeah, played knight f3 I, i thought that she'll maybe deflect knowing that i don't go e5 so i checked the sideline as well acha you had you were prepared not fully but yeah, i was prepared in whatever she played ah. so knight f6 and then takes d6 and you 
played this and were you surprised with c4 or vaishali has played this no no she's played one game i didn't expect it obviously to happen but i have seen i just knew one move after this <laughs> <laughs> you know that knight c6 uh, is good yeah I, i knew that knight c6 was good so i played it very confidently <laughs> i i thought that maybe something will happen i knew after this white had to play i saw something like d3 but she played d4 so i, I think knight c3 is okay, the main move no uh i saw d3 ah, i didn't d3. see knight c3 So she went d4. You played d5, and when she went knight c3, did you already feel like she took eighteen minutes to make this yeah. move? Yeah. Uh, so that obviously gave me confidence because now I know that she's out of preparation. Uh, even if I am, it's fine, and we can just play it out. Right, and then uh, bishop b4 was very cool. Yeah, you thought for five minutes. I felt that this entire game was almost flawless by you. No. I like to believe so. <laughs> no, I mean this is not me. I also analyzed the game, and I think it was very cool. Like Queen E seven, very smart yeah. move. And of course, no, no human is going to go King D one. I mean, when you yeah. have Bishop E three. Obviously. Bishop F five. I saw till here. Huh. And this move, I think I thought a lot. Twenty six minutes. Yeah, I thought for thirty minutes. Obviously, I was, uh, I was uh, very. She was low on time, hmm. so I had an advantage. So I could like spare a few moments here. I thought a lot of things. I was uh, thinking about bishop c three, knight g three, and even d c four. I think I don't know. It seemed very stupid, but uh, after that, I was uh, searching for variations, hmm. and uh, I finally found. I found nothing concrete. So I think that I think I just went for whatever looked the best, whatever was comfortable for me. So yeah. I, obviously with her rook on f one, king on e one, black should be better. Yeah, because if you could take the rook here, you would have anyway gone for it. But knight h one is met with c d five. Ah, you didn't even consider. Yeah, I knew that the knight was very terrible there, yeah. so I didn't want to risk it. So you ca calculating probably things like. Uh, Bishop c three, b c three. Uh, here, I guess I was checking d c four. Then at one point I was checking. There were a lot of small small details because of uh, the uh move order that I played mm. was very uh move to move because there were little small small details that were uncomfortable for me. So I avoided those lines and mm. uh, like maybe after knight g three directly. uh queen b3 knight f1 i think there was something happening that's why i avoided it yeah uh -huh. yeah i think so maybe ab4 but then there's knight e3 no i saw something once like uh i saw i think rook f1 mm -hmm. b c3 that hans poses yeah i was uh queen c3 now why does the option of queen c3 maybe can take with the queen true yeah. right okay so rook f1 you long castled takes and then you switched your rook to a5 and i mean i i loved this game because uh, even when things kind of died out like here when you exchange you still played very accurately this this phase of the game and you are you are more like an aggressive player uh, like you like to play attacking chess but your end game was also very cool no mm, i don't know has Yeah, I generally prefer attacking because my openings are almost like yeah. uh, decisive. But I think I can play both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you can. But just that you, you are. Uh, I have seen more attacking games of yours. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit surprised with this move a five. What was your idea? Like, if she takes. Okay, this. I think I thought a lot for this move. You thought for six, uh, nine minutes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was down to I think fifteen minutes, hmm. and nine minutes is a lot. So, uh, first of all, I was thinking obviously to go something like normal f six, rook eight, a six, but that seemed very like passive. And uh, if I uh, I thought I saw that she can't take because then I see my main point was not to lose at any point. <laughs> So I tried my best not to lose. Okay. I was just playing safe. Hmm. I was I was fine with the draw. 
so it's fine but when you have when you have such a great position did you yeah, not obviously. start getting like a little bit ambitious that no i can win this that's what happened in the game i know you won like, it i was not ambitious but i didn't want i wanted to stay in the singer i didn't want to lose at any cost hmm. so that's why i went for so you just wanted activity basically you yes. didn't want to play passively you thought okay let's get not uh, activity but uh, i wanted the advantage to be with me not her at any point so okay. if it's play, if someone is playing for a win it should be me ah. very nice right okay that is a ceo trait yeah you always like have the your last word in the in any thing like the initiative should always be with you like that <laughs> okay a5 king c5 uh, a4 and then your pawn started to run here and then the king uh, you you put your king on d7 also rook a4 was nicely done because there's a mate threat uh, yeah. i think uh, okay what should i say yeah no i mean this and when you won this game how did it feel because i mean relief. yeah very re very big relief, relief right yeah and also i mean vaishali is a tremendous player uh, and also it meant that you now have one point lead going into the final round where you were going to face another very experienced player saumya uh, now what were you thinking because now you have like a draw means certain national title and now your white pieces also yeah uh, i think i after this round i was a bit relaxed but not like i was just scared that i should not lose but i think i spent the last day just sleeping but because there was only one round on this day like vaishali you won then the entire day was free not, like not because of one round but because yeah yeah sorry so i spent it sleeping because i was very tired ah. uh i spent it sleeping ah you spent all I the time tired. sleeping not all the time but okay i slept early and i woke up early and then i prepared because i had already decided what to play and it didn't require much preparation did did arjun or did anyone uh, tell you what to play or this time it was your choice what do you think uh I think this one is your choice because somehow uh, the Sicilian Alpine you should have prepared it some at some point. Wrong? I played it as I when I was a child. This was all I played, hmm. but it didn't strike me, so it was Arjun. Oh really? Yeah. Arjun is a uh, uh, smart, yeah, in his opening choices. He's because very smart. because he knows exactly what to play against uh, opponents because i think the petrov suggestion against vaishali worked very well hmm. and so here you played uh, this one and soumya also very aggressive very direct player so playing the alapin with her is not a bad idea but you remember that bhakti also played alapin with you so it was like oh uh, yeah i remember that and i like it's a very annoying opening to face as black <laughs> yeah okay so sorry guys i have a little bit of cold uh takes d6 bishop c4 and here i guess all theory until this point take take queen a5 i also remember this as theory and what i was a bit surprised is the fact that uh here draw is the only way or can can black not try to keep the game going somehow okay i'll tell you the story ha huh. uh i she played queen a4 she was low on time she had 40 minutes i had an hour and uh, i played bb5 and i knew that my position was better so i offered her a draw because draw works for me and so already somya has done was, something wrong yeah here yeah queen a4 is the wrong move ah means here itself the right move here is rook d8 yeah we were actually discussing for this for half an hour after the match acha so she took 23 minutes and played a wrong move 
and you are like okay ab tumne mistake kiya hai to uh, i need a draw only so draw offer and then what happened okay then uh, i uh, we can't draw before 30 moves oh. so so she told like she was uh, signaling that we can't draw before 30 moves and uh, i told her maybe repetition is an option uh, and she understood we didn't even have to talk so uh, then she thought for a while she thought for almost 20 minutes here i think 10 20 minutes hmm. and uh, in between she we both started laughing because we knew that she had a bad position and uh, i needed a draw then finally we agreed for a draw so so if uh, you had to keep on playing then what would you have done here after queen i i i had no problem with playing though because i had a good position ha ah, what would you have played like to keep the game going like uh... Uh, i would have won bishop d3 or rook b1 Okay. Th- this other rook. Yes. Hmm. Bishop d3 mostly. Okay. Got it. So this with this draw you were able to win the title and I was just looking at it whether you were the youngest ever to win the national title but then I uh, saw that the first winners of our national championship of women the Khadilkar sisters were very young when they won like they were 13 year old. Uh, oh wow so when vasanti khadilkar won the first one she was just thir- she was born in 61 and she won in 74 so oh. and hampi when she won the title she was 16 so uh, it's a nice achievement to do it especially you just turned 16 in december uh, so very cool and uh, what do you have to say about the second and third place finishers you know uh, sakshi priyanka because you know there were so many experienced players like saumya mary bhakti uh, there, there were so many uh, players whom we have heard of many times but this time all new uh, i mean they are good players sakshi priyanka but i guess this is the first time that they finished uh, so high um i don't know what is everybody played incredible Mm. so can't really say anything i think uh, the uh, standings were decided on a tie break because they were on same points yes so. yes yeah i'll try to you know even call them at some point but i i really liked your uh, games against them uh, i just wanted to check a couple of interesting moments against first priyanka nutakki mm-hmm. she finished third in the tournament uh just explain to us divya what is this position like why is white what was your assessment because it looks kind of equalish you have the king side majority she has the central majority did you feel you were better no mm. i thought it was equal mm. but black had to be very careful because f5 f6 is coming and uh, it's right the one who's pressing so i was fine with this position was comfortable right probably she should have gone for d4 d4 right yeah so that my queen gets uh, restricted and doesn't get that much mobility mm. but she went uh, she went f5 and i think this was not a good move by her oh yeah it allows e6 right e6 to e3 And After this, it was me who was trying, so I I was trying with that. Yeah, with this passed pawn, and then I liked uh, you know how the game went. You won a pawn here. Uh, I think that was a mistake. Uh, rook f4 was a mistake. I think rook d4 also was a mistake. She should have maybe just gone for g6. I think I thought a lot for queen c2 because I couldn't find a plan for white how to proceed hmm. because black has rook d4 and. just everything coming right and uh, i don't know yeah maybe if she would have done this it would have been tougher for you to convert but once she gave you this more space to kind of breathe with your e pawn now and her king getting a little weakened you were able to win another pawn <clears throat> and then you converted this i guess you would have been confident by now yeah that you will win Yes, I was almost confident. I was thinking about how to win, but I figured I would win eventually. She pushed her pawn because that was falling, and then you managed to simply clean up. 
those two pawns and won the game. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at Sakshi's game because she also she's the runner up of the tournament. And guys, if you notice, Priyank uh, Divya beat the runner up, the third place finisher, the two time defending champion, uh, the defending champion and two times national champion uh, Bhakti, and also the top seed Vaishali. So I mean, what more can you ask from? Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on the opening of this game that she played. The, you played the advanced variation against the Karokan. It's a very well-known trap uh, here, uh, which is e6. Uh, and I'm sure that she also knew it and you also knew it. Uh, both of you knew it. And guys, all those who don't know it can check out the eight-year-old uh, boy traps in that I have covered this one. But she played e6. And I guess you were prepared, yeah, right? Okay, I was prepared, but look, it's a funny story. Uh, I was prepared. I knew what position I had to reach. I had no idea how to reach it. <laughs> what was the position in your mind? Uh, my position in the mind was uh, c4, c5, bl uh, black pawn c5, c4, hmm. queen b2, knight f3, uh, knight c6 and uh, this was the position and why to play i actually got a little bit confused in my preparation mm -hmm. so uh, i knew that uh, there was something like rook b1 knight b4 and uh, i knew after that but uh, i didn't know how to reach it and so but you you played c4 which is the main move and here she had to take this pawn and maybe then you would have got that I didn't check that line after that. I forgot. Aha, uh -huh, because queen I d2, check. I think, is the queen b2 is the main move, and then rook d1 or something like that. Yeah, okay, this is the line. Huh. Uh, knight c6, knight f3. Yeah. Uh, now there are two options. Oh, knight that's knight why you four. played yeah, rook yeah. d1 in the game. I was yeah. like, why did Divya play rook d1? Okay, got it. So this was the line that you had prepared, and yes. then in the game, she went knight c6. You went knight f3 and she didn't take on b2. So you were like, anyway, come on, take on b2. I'm going rook, rook b1. Exactly, you get me. <laughs> but uh, she said, okay, no, uh, no ways. I'm not taking this. She went knight f5. Yeah, this rook d1 was a very cryptic move. And then, Divya, when uh, you took here, this happened. I think black's position is fine. Were you scared for a moment here that black had a very strong move in this position. I saw f6, but I saw it after rook c1. After rook c, oh, like take and here. Yeah, I missed f6. So if if, I, if f6, if, then I think black is doing well, right? Black is great doing great. Hmm. Because bishop is kind of trapped. I mean, you have to go back to e3 perhaps. Yeah, so Sakshi had her chance here, but then eventually. Yeah, at this point, I was just feeling relieved that the disastrous opening preparation didn't lead me into a bad position. Yeah, you got a playable and, uh, position. Hmm, yeah, I got it. Here again, my point was that I should be the one pushing, not her. Yes. Uh, by the way, Arjun Bharadwaj has sent a super chat saying, Congratulations, Divya. Super performance. Does this give you your third IM norm? Sadly, no. Because even though all the requirements were fulfilled, I don't have the rating average. My rating average was around 2100 and 22 is required. Yeah, you need around 20 to 30 as the minimum yes. uh, rating average of your opponents to get an IM norm. So although Divya faced, I think, three IMs, she also made her points. I think her performance was way above 2450. Uh, but unfortunately, she could not. But it's only a matter of time. And because she's already crossed 2400 before, she will, the moment she makes her third IM norm, she'll become an IM. Even if she's not reached 2400 now, because she's already done that before. Did you... You know, Divya, I was just analyzing this game and I realized the computer was suggesting G4. I missed that. But, I mean, what is happening? It's 
uh, it's not easy to yeah, find it's fight. not easy but look white has a lot of activity on the king side then uh, the f7 pawn is very weak for mm. black mm. then the king is very weak for black the black squares are very weak mm. so that's why probably the company was showing advantage yeah also threatening take take and take on g7 and if he goes g6 then suddenly these dark squares become weak so yeah very <clears throat> and you know uh, like this position is almost like mid because h5 and the rook is coming in yes okay that fantastic so this game was i guess one of the toughest ones against sakshi because opening really went uh, back and forth yeah after this there was also a point uh, can you Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I have marked another interesting. Board. I felt so proud to play knight e one in a real board game. Here, yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, you you asked yourself where are the weaknesses, and then you said, okay, my knight has to be on d three. No. Then. I found it by fluke. <laughs> <laughs> that is being too truthful, yeah, Divya. How can it be fluke? I mean, what is fluke? Okay, not fluke, but I didn't find any other option. And then suddenly I was like, what if the knight goes on d3? Then I found it. But that's how usually you find stuff. What is the yeah, other way? But, I mean... <laughs> it's not like the move will be there in your head. It will come to you at some point. Yeah, but knight... Okay. Whatever. Maybe it's not it's not your style. Like your style is always knight g5. Really? And this is like a little bit back knight going. Knight g5 back. is my style. No? I mean just playing aggressively, that's what. Or or you can say actively. Okay, but knight g5 looks so stupid. <laughs> no. I mean not the move as such, but I was just saying moving forward. Okay. okay. Uh, we can't, we, you know, once the player gets very strong, you know, like yourself, who is now soon going to reach 2400 and beyond and then there is no, you can't stereotype a player as aggressive or attacking. They are good at many things. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, no, just, uh, just a okay. statement. No. Okay. Uh, and here, what I liked uh, was your next move. Very cool. Uh, calm little move. Uh, maybe we can ask the chat guys what should white play here. And uh, by the way, Shaurya Gaming says, Divya, you are on stream. So a streamer too. No, that doesn't make her a streamer. I'm the streamer. She's come as a guest. So she will you be playing Samai Raina invitation? No. It's a bullet event, but uh, you know, if you play that, then no one else has chance. So. Uh, guys, did you find the move? Knight takes c5 is one option. Okay. A5. A lot of people want to play A5. Hmm. I saw A5. I, I didn't find a continuation after bishop A5. Yeah. I mean, you can win a pawn here with yeah, knight c5. Yeah, but then the pawn is too weak. Hmm. And can uh, black king be very brave and take this? I think so. Mm, no? I, I don't think so. Uh, maybe he can. Yeah. But in the game, Divya played a very nice move, which was Rook B1. And her point was that this pawn, which her opponent wanted to take, is kind of taboo, but she took it. And now, what did Divya do here? Let's be back in a second. Sure. While Divya will be back, can you find the move here? Let's let's have hundred people find this move, guys. This is a tactic, and let's all you know. You should be. We should be able to surprise her with everyone finding the right move. Nice trick. <laughs> Amit Sachdeva says so honest Divya congratulations to you thank you Amit yeah. I think one of the things that I have realized you know interviewing a lot of great champions is that 
they are not uh, they are hardly ever insecure to uh, admit their mistakes you know they are like yeah it happened out of fluke or it happened and <clears throat> i think that is one of the signs of uh, true champions they are able to just say the truth that yeah this time i saw the move till the end this time i did not and that's just how chess is you can't be finding all the moves all the time and uh, yeah rook takes b6 fantastic job guys all of you uh, and chess king shivam oh yes 99 people savita anil kumar fun life samarth gandhi account number 2 sayyad abdul manan anshul nanwani pravin prajapati rahu rohan balasubramaniam well done all of you okay i'm back <clears throat> yeah welcome back divya and so uh, there was any story here uh, like you were saying that not here the next move take okay i saw this whole thing uh, i saw the whole variation i saw bishop c3 i mean no no before this okay before this before this one more huh So here I played all these moves very fast because I saw that king if I had bishop c3 I was just running for white. And even if I wouldn't win again, I was the one pushing. Right. But I was like so hoping, hoping that she doesn't play king d5 here because then it get very tough for me to win this. It gets tough. So you would say that her taking this pawn on e5. See, Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, Because it makes things easier for me. I get the G seven pawn, the F seven, H five. Everything is very weak. When the king is on D five, uh, my E five pawn is weak. I have to protect the A three pawn, and the knight is very tricky, so it gets tough. Hmm. Right. Very very nice. So if she had gone here, then this position, do you think, is a draw? Or? Which the no no it's not a draw but, but it's tougher uh, it's than tougher the game. Tougher to win. Yeah. Got it. To win. Okay. So she took here, and what I liked in this game very much, Divya, is this uh, variation where you played King F four, and you are like, yes, there is a knight fork, but I know that this end game is winning. So check. I actually didn't see knight c knight e six until I played king e three, mm -hmm. and then I was like, uh, it's easier if I just calculate it out uh, rather than just grinding the whole thing. And then you, <laughs> as they say, the rook pawn is the knight's biggest enemy, and here there are two rook pawns, so the knight was just overstretched, and uh, you managed to win this. Very cool, very cool game. uh yeah with that i think we covered almost all your important games there was one more against uh, nisha mohota nisha of course is a wonderful chess player uh, her rating is now a little low but she is very strong did you feel that this position is better for you or was it like your i think your attitude in this tournament has always like you are not losing that's important ah <laughs> uh. Okay, here the story is that uh, I messed up my open partition. Sorry, I can't hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Once, can you just do that? Like, uh, if you if you hold it, it will get too loud. No, it will be like super clear your voice. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Okay. But then I'll have to hold it like this the whole time. Hmm. Sure. Should I? You can decide. I mean, if it's comfortable for you. I'll hold it for five minutes. Ah. Uh. Ha. So, uh, the story here is that I forgot my preparation, and uh, uh, I again I played it out very confidently. I thought that uh, maybe she'll get tricked or something, mm. and uh, then can you show the before game? The game before this. This way like moves. Yeah. Yeah. Divya is black. Nisha is white. Yeah. Okay. Here. Uh. Here. Uh. 
I think it was a double round. I didn't have time to prep. I had just finished a long game. So I was like, okay, let's just play whatever happens. And then I knew that Black had some advantage, but uh, I hadn't any experience here. And I thought that she did. So I think I messed up a little. I had advantage in between. But then I went into an opening, uh, like a uh, and game where only I can grind again the same thing, mm. so I was fine with it. Right. No funny story. Here. No, I mean uh, this was. I think somewhere she went wrong, and you got this comfortable. Uh, she should. Yeah. After this, uh, she shouldn't have pushed her at and three pawns. Mm. But you know, in this position, she took thirty-five minutes for rook f c one, which is a massive amount mm. of time. Mm. Okay, so Divya, those were your games. Should we go to Q and A, like sure. all the questions that have been asked by people in the chat? Uh, you know, I put a community post on YouTube, and they sent in their questions. So I've picked up a few, and okay. we can look at them. Okay. Cool. Okay. So this was, uh, of course, Srinath's uh, this. But I had one question before going there. Uh, was it this time you went with your dad alone or was, was your mom also with you? No, only my dad was there. Only your father. Okay. And uh, uh, you, I mean, could you tell us a bit about his role in a tournament? Does he help you prepare or how is it? Okay. No, uh, it's mostly the external things like uh, food, stay and uh, mental peace and making sure that I'm in the right mood before the game. And it's all the small, small things, but they really matter. Mm. Very cool. And guys, uh, Divya's father is a doctor. Also, her mother is a doctor. So, uh, when they actually go to tournaments, they, they have to give up on their work and they, they travel. So, it's very nice. And as you said in your interview, it's like the biggest support that you have of them. Uh, by the way, Divya, could you just uh, adjust your camera yes. because your head gets Daddy. cut sometimes. Yeah, cool. Uh, also, uh, you know, Arjun won the national title and now we know that he also uh, was in touch with you. You were, you know, suggesting. Did you suggest him anything to play in his? Uh, no, but I like he owes me 10% of his prize money oh. because I gave him a peace of mind and I didn't trouble him much. Oh, that means that Divya has actually earned 6,10,000 and Arjun has earned 5,40,000. Correct? That Be is if I get the money. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I will, but I should. I deserve it. Divya has made her investments at different places nicely, you know. Yes, I even have the screenshots to prove it. Okay, okay, Arjun, before Divya leaks all screenshots like she did with Srinath, please, <laughs> please give her 10% of your winnings. Uh, but how, how has this, uh, you know, this kind of camaraderie developed? Because uh, you guys are clearly all improving as chess players. Do you uh, discuss a lot of chess together, all of you? Uh, okay, yeah, we do discuss uh, chess together, but uh, I don't know, it's just based on friendship. Mm. Is this friendship because you all like started working together because it's, of Srinath or is it like you were friends even before that? It's not, uh, it's due to that, it started due to that, but it's not based on that. Mm. Now it's more than even chess, like you you guys are good yeah. friends. Yeah. Very cool. That's so good to know. Uh how did you like the trophy? Is it good? Yeah, it's nice. I actually didn't have a chance to see it properly because uh, I don't know why I didn't see it properly. I don't know. You, you should to... do it uh, now after yeah. the stream. Yeah. And uh, how was the arrangements there? Because, you know, over the board tournaments after a long time and Odisha is very well known for uh, chess tournaments. So uh, the arrangement was really fine. Uh, it was in Kit University. Oh, one second, my laptop's battery broke. Can I go get the charger? Yes, please. Okay. 
Uh -huh, the national championship uh, has ended now, correct? Because we had this contest that whoever is able to guess who will win gets a prize. So I will check who had guessed Arjun and Divya and uh, those we had three lucky prizes. So today we will uh, check that out in the comments. Don't change your comments guys because their edited comes on top and we get to know. So Fun Life says, please ask Divya how she felt when she participated in her first tournament and when, aha, uh -huh. let's see. I mean, I have some questions I will ask her. Yes, today is Vidit versus Rapport as well at, in some time around uh, 7.30 it would start. Will India get to host the Olympiad? I think very uh, positively about this because I feel this is something that FIDE might have to do uh, because there's so little time left and it's it's such a big event and to get people together in such a short time is never easy. And so I have a feeling that Olympiad will come to India. And uh, But where is the question? We did see a tweet recently, so your guess is as good as mine as to what it is. But let's see if if it happens, which part of India it will be. But it will be so much fun, you know, all the full 190 countries coming to India to play chess, all top players. I mean, if you are a chess lover, you should definitely visit it. Oh, Divya is here. Cool. Okay, uh, and Divya, what about the prize money? Uh, you know, it's the first time that uh, nationals have had such high price fund, 25 lakhs total fund, 5.5 lakh rupees. MPL came in as a sponsor. What do you have to say about it? I think it's a really great thing that chess is finally getting sponsors and uh, that it is... Uh, I don't know, blue me and uh, I don't know, I think it's a great one. And what, what does this prize money mean to you? Is this the biggest uh, amount you have ever won as a chess player? Yeah, I think it would be biggest any player as well. Uh, for, for any player? Not, not for the top players, but uh, obviously for the... For the juniors maybe. Yeah, for the juniors. But uh, how do you... Do you have in mind, like, how would you use it? Or you are like, okay, uh, mom, dad, this is yours. You guys decide. How, how do you look at it? I haven't thought about it, but uh, I'll probably use it for chess and obviously food. Food? Yeah, not all of it, but... Uh, like what? Like go to pizza? Like, do you like pizza or something or something like that? Chicken. Sorry? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, got it nice and uh, okay let's go to the questions stanzari says first things first a huge congratulations divya and wishing her a bright future ahead she's a gem for our orange city this is by stanzari uh, how was she able to maintain such a consistent performance throughout the tournament and what are some of her immediate goals that she wants to achieve okay uh i was First of all, thank you for all the good things. And uh, I was a, I actually don't know. It's probably because I took one game at a time and didn't stress too much about things. The only game I stressed only about one game, and that was because I didn't prepare enough. Which one? I, uh, the Vaishali one. Vaishali. Up till two, yeah. Mm. So that one I was a little bit nervous because I hadn't prepared. But uh, I think. Uh, it's just take one game at a time, don't stress. And if it sometimes during game it gets like too stressful, just close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and tell yourself it's okay, you got this and you got it. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and uh, the second question is what are some of the immediate goals that you want to achieve? Okay, immediate goals. Uh, I wanted my IM title. Even though it's not that important, but obviously it feels nice to have something uh, like a proper title. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you will you will get it very soon. It's not... Uh, uh, it's just a matter of one event, right? <clears throat> I hope so. <laughs> uh, okay. 
so okay. that and i haven't thought about on others hmm. there is one answer which you gave to ranjan mohan ti ji yesterday which i really loved was uh, how do you motivate yourself he asked you know that was one question yeah. and you said that i i tell myself that i'm not doing this like playing chess for others i'm doing it for myself that's actually something my sister told me uh, arya really, yeah arya did he told me hmm. and it had a lasting impression and uh, obviously i began and like applying it everywhere and uh, it made things better so i just had to do whatever fe- felt comfortable to me and it was not fine in that's so that's so nice divya because you know i learned this when i was close to like 30 you know that whatever i'm doing i should be doing it for myself not for others and it kind of ingrained and you are just 16 so you learned it very soon and i guess great advice by your sister there uh priyam pathak says my question will be pritam sorry pritam pathak what was her expectations before coming to the tournament zero <laughs> zero expectations school zero you don't look at the like the circular and see oh 10 prizes are there last prize is 1 lakh at least yeah, eight actually, or minutes actually i think just builds up the pressure at least for me i don't know it might be a motivational factor for others but it builds up the pressure for me i was just like okay let's just play this i just play this right okay next question is by Patikrit Pal, who says, "Please do ask her which game out of nine was the toughest she experienced, and why." Asking me these, ask some new questions. Okay, next question for Divya. Congrats, Divya says Prachi Singh. My question is, how did you practice for the tournament? Did you do anything special? Is this a new question or? Okay, next question, Prasanna Surange. Congratulations for the stupendous achievement. how have you pre- prepared for on the board chess during pandemic did the prolonged lockdown affect your preparation and mental agility is this a good question divya okay something different little yeah okay thank you thanks prasanna <laughs> <laughs> i was feeling like you know oh my god she is not going to answer any question now but okay this one it is uh first of all thank you for uh, congratulating me secondly uh how have you uh i don't think the preparation is uh that different because uh, i don't know uh, i w- it was never online for us so we have only always been playing otp so it was the same old regular thing just that it had a little bit break in it and uh, the prolong along the lockdown yeah it actually did affect my mental health and uh, it i'm sorry no that's fine that's fine uh, it uh, it got a little tough but uh, i am so glad it's fine now yeah i i remember divya that for some part in the lockdown you were like i have to study i have to study there are exams and all of that uh, and then the exams didn't happen at all and then i mean it was so uh, so many things went haywire right uh yeah not here but yeah there was a little bit of rough patch in between but i'm so glad i had that patch because it made me realize things it made me better as a person it made me mature can, can you share one thing that the lockdown has taught you like one one lesson that as you said it taught me things okay uh that uh, things always get better no matter how bad it is it will always get better wow that's very cool nice okay let's go to the next i'm also scared to click the next question because <laughs> i'm like please ask a good question kamal poro by the way amit sachdeva says divya is like ye to roast ka hai kuch naya puchho uh well, actually not roast ka hai but uh, sab mujhe yahi puch rahe hain hmm correct नहीं वो तो होता है टूर्नामेंट होने के बाद बट अब कैसा था आई पुट फर्स्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू द टूर्नामेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस सो कमल बोरो सेज आई वुड लाइक टू नो व्हेन यू स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग चेस एंड हाउ वुड यू वांट टू मेक करियर इन चेस एज अ चेस प्लेयर इन फ्यूचर 
I play started playing chess when I was around four, four, th- uh, four and a half. Four thirty, you are saying? Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on, you didn't have to do me like that. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, how would you want as an um, trouble? How would you want to make a career as a chess player in the field? I mean, it maybe wants to ask whether you want to make a career or not as a chess yeah, player. Obviously, I want to. Make yes. A career. Okay. Got it. Let's go to the next one. Harish Shriram. Given the fact that chess has a lot of sorry. <laughs> Something. I'm sorry. Uh, what, what happened? No, 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 nothing, nothing. No, you have to tell now, Divya. Is it? No, come on. Everything's okay, right? Yeah. Hmm. Given the fact that chess has a lot of psychological aspects along with theory and preparedness, how does she prepare for this? Uh, okay. Uh, probably meditation helps. Mm-hmm. And the breathing exercises help. And uh, I think it's the self-talk and having confidence in yourself. meditation and breathing and all do you practice regularly has someone taught you or uh no i do practice it regularly but uh, it's basically mostly sorry uh, your voice went down oh okay uh, i don't know i don't like this question okay got it let's go to the next one uh but okay uh meditation breathing exercises and uh, self sorry self confidence and self self talk okay got it siddhant magdum says why and he's from iit dhanbad why don't you start your own youtube channel I, i'm also a chess player and would like to compete against you by the way big fan thank you uh i don't I don't know it's very hectic already I've got so much stuff going on it will maybe just pile on I'll maybe consider it later but not right now You you like like you like watching the other chess content that is there on YouTube like Uh yeah I do like it but lately I've not been getting a lot of time for it but yeah maybe later not right now For you right now, you are you are completely into. into. I yeah, I want to focus on for chess. Absolutely, very good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, Manas Chaudhary, please take my question. What is Divya's favorite opening for white and black, and also her favorite gambit? Okay. Uh, I don't have any. I don't have any favorite opening. I know Bond Club would be a good answer, but I've never played it only. Hmm. Yeah, don't play that in over the board even. We'll see. Okay. Uh, but you like uh, you like seeing bomb cloud games, yeah? No, I've never played it. I've never seen so, it. So, so what's your favorite have... opening? Interesting answer. Uh, I don't have any. You don't have one. Okay. No, I don't have any. Dipesh Kumar. As we know, Shrinath is a trainer, and that's why I guess she used to play games more with Nihal, Ronak, Arjun. has that helped her game to improve cause normally if we play more with tougher opponents our games improve at the end at the end of yes, the day yes that's true that's true um so has it helped your game to improve like uh, working yes. with yes definitely very cool okay you're so scared to ask me questions yeah 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 very scared i'm like if divya gets right now she's angry and she's saying i don't want to answer If the I'm next angry. if the next level goes and she'll be like I'm going off stream then what you know it will be so I have to be calm it's like it's come just... on <laughs> I'm not angry hmm. but Divya is so smart yeah she also understands that I'm not asking her questions I'm like being a little bit uh, you know holding myself back hesitant hmm. okay it's okay you can ask I'll answer yeah no it's fine uh, because Raghav Bansal says congrats Divya. for this achievement amazing achievement i have a question for you how do you manage studies and chess in fact this question was fi- like there were at least 5 to 6 people who had asked so i picked this one but i think it's a question which everyone wants to know okay uh 
it's tough obviously after appointing it gets tough but i think if you manage it properly like uh, if you first of all you have to decide your priority if you want to go for studies or if you want to go chess whatever you decide to go for maybe you can focus the uh, majority of the time on that and you can always get a little time for the other it's not like you can always make time very nice so for you the priority is chess Yes. And then you get some time for studies. Yes. And do you plan to continue studying? Like uh, right now, you must be in eleventh, right? Right now or twelfth? Eleventh. Eleventh. So do you plan to like keep studying? Yes. I I don't ever intend to give up studies. It will be my second priority. Ah, uh, any plans of studying anything specific? no but i'm interested in psychology oh psychology nice nice you would you would be really good because uh, i guess you already understand people and their their psyche and everything very well okay one question i had was uh, with uh, you had mentioned that you also work with anand's chess academy that is westbridge anand chess academy could you tell us a bit about that how that is helping your chess okay that is a uh... very great initiative taken by anand sir and i'm really blessed to be a part of it and uh, it is basically uh, him getting us coaches like really good coaches and uh, them having classes with us so there are uh, there is gaevsky uh, there is uh, yusupov uh, you have all the information yes yes of course there is yusupov okay. and there is sandipan chanda so these are the three trainers there but it's it's a well known fact i mean it's uh, published before uh, and i think these three have helped vishi anand as trainers in before so now they are working with him and anand does uh, also do you get some time yeah, to interact he, with anand yeah he does join classes and like a few classes and he, like he joins most of the classes actually and it gets really interesting to discuss the variations in everything mm -hmm. so that has been and i am seeing that all the kids who are working with him are doing very well right now uh, you know so that's very good okay let's go to next one amit montu says congratulations divya didi my question is what didi. will yes <laughs> he okay. must be young uh what my question is what will be the best book for beginners i am 11 ha see he said i am 11 and i love to play chess okay uh best book for beginners what any any book which you learned uh, study when you were growing up like beginners book uh i Okay, I didn't really read books, but there was this one person that my dad used to like. Uh, he used to set up puzzles from all over, it, and then it would be really fun to solve all of them. I think it was Domination Two Five Four Five. Oh, nice. I'm thinking of the name, but it was. Fun. It's not an easy book, I would say, but it's a nice book, and I think all the players who have solved this when they were young have gone on to become very good players. I know Hari Krishna has done it. Also, Anup Deshmukh suggests it. Uh, very. uh seriously it's called domination in 2545 end games by genric kasparian okay last question divya yes ready okay rapid fire okay shweshnik over dragon okay the uh shweshnik shweshnik italian or spanish uh italian italian Uh, rook or queen and game i faced a rook queen and game with priyanka and got so annoying with the checks and also rook so you like rook uh, easier than no. queen you don't like rook but you hate the queen so rook is better yeah mm nice vidit or hari no <laughs> <laughs> no no next question we can say both Yeah, both. Kasparov or Kramnik? Hmm, I like Kramnik's games. You like Kramnik's games more? Ironic, yeah. 
I mean, it's very uh, surprising because as as we discussed, you are a more uh, Kasparov kind of player, and you like Kramnik's games more. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's ironic. Sorry. It's ironic. Is that a net issue? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But when you use some very difficult words for me to understand, it hangs up like it's ironic. So I was like, oh, what, what? But very nice. Uh, Tal or Fisher? Tal. Tal. A three or Bong Cloud? Okay, this we know. Bong Cloud always. Of course, Bong Cloud. Yeah. Well, Divya, it was a great, great session we had. It was so much pleasure to have you here. Uh, and uh, what will you, as you said, nothing planned for next events, right? For you right now. So we'll see mm -hmm. where you play. And do you are you following Gropri that is happening? Vidit is on two out of two. Uh, yes. You're following it. Yes. Okay, fantastic, Divya. Once again. Huge congratulations for winning the national title and all the best for the future events. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, that was the super smart, super talented and so, so uh, mature beyond years. Divya Deshmukh, she's just 16, but she has so many interesting things to say. I sometimes when she's answering, I'm like, wow. Uh, for example, when she said about um, her studies and chess, how she balances them, she said like, you know, you have to prioritize things and you have to do them, but also you will always find some time for other things uh, to do. And these are all very uh, nice answers that she's given here. And I, I hope that it was nice and you enjoyed it. I also like this format where I put up, where I when I ask someone for an interview, few hours before or a day before I put up in our community, you get a chance to ask some questions to these players and we are able to, you know, um, pick their mind. So thank you all for, for doing this. And I'll, I'll see you all later today for Vidit and Hari Krishna and Anish playing in the FIDE Grand Prix. Until then, guys, this is Sagar Shah signing off. Bye-bye.